Hey everybody, Marky here from John1911, and why do I have my camera uh, pointed at my crotch? Welcome to the internet. Actually, no, that's not the reason. Um, I got a question. Somebody wanted to know. Let me let me uh, uh, horse horse straddle this. Somebody wanted to know what preference do I have in holsters? Do I want a sweat guard or no sweat guard? I always order the sweat guard. Here's why. Well, the main reason is if you don't like it, you can just cut it off. Here is, here's a uh, Raven Raven concealment holster. You know, any any holster maker will give you the option for the sweat guard. I get the sweat guard because if for some reason you don't like it, just zip it right off. Now, if you're one of those people that's buying holsters and you're thinking, well, gosh, if I if I have to modify my holster, that takes away from the value of it. My only response is, who the hell buys holsters to sell them? Or who the hell buys holsters as investments? I mean, nobody does that. That's just kind of weird. To me, the sweat guard acts like a backboard in basketball. You know, you can either do nothing but net, or you can bounce it in from different angles, okay? And that's what the sweat guard does for me. I can come in a little bit off, drop down into it, or, you know, hit it, you know, hit it short, drop down into it. I mean, it's much more forgiving for me to, you know, use the sweat guard for that reason. And, you know, even like my appendix carry, sweat guard, same thing. So, because, you know, under stress or fast, and there are some occasions when you may want to holster a gun quickly, I'm not going to get into that here, I don't conduct training, but it does happen. Um, sweat guards really help you with that. If you don't like them, cut them off. Again, I have a sweat guard in this appendix. I'm able to bend over, no problem. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't really hinder your movement. If you're one of those kind of guys that it does, cut it off. You know, no big deal. Or order one without it. Here is an old holster. This is a, um, this is a holster that... This is not a uh, a big company. This has a kind of a pseudo hybrid. It's kind of a sweat guard. It's a mini sweat guard. The bottom line is you end up having to hit it right on the money. It's a three o'clock holster. But you know, I mean, if you know, if you if you're a little bit off or a little bit shallow, there's not a whole lot of you know runway to kind of you know slide your way into it. You know, if you miss, and you know, I got news for you. Everybody misses, you know. Guys, you all miss. Trust me, just look at your bathroom, all right? So, for me, sweat guard, yes. I say go ahead and get it, try it. Try it for a couple of weeks or months. See if you get used to it, see if it makes a difference. Then, if not, just cut the damn thing off. Not that big of a deal. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.